Okay, so it's currently July, gosh, it's like the 29th, I think, or something, 28th, and um, I'm still in Maine, still heading south, and we just uh, forwarded this little branch of this river here, um, but when I crossed over, there's a, uh, a moose skull just sitting here on this rock, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. The next town that I'm headed to is Stratton. And I think that's like 70 miles away. So, uh, there should be a couple of big climbs in this next little section. And, uh, we have to take the ferry boat across the Kennebec, I think the day after tomorrow. So that'll be pretty cool. So, yeah, it's a pretty nice day. It's probably going to be hot later when I climb up Moxie Bald, um, at the end of the day. So, not looking forward to that, but... Uh, it's really nice right now. Alright, so it's still the same day as the last video. And I'm slowly making my way up and over Moxie Bald. And I'm pretty sure that up there is just the top. So I'm like half a mile away. And uh, there's a shelter down the other side. I came from here. And that's where I'm going to stay tonight. And I'm pretty sure that's like a dinosaur footprint. Not really sure though. Um, but yeah, it's really cool up here. So there was like a mile climb to get up to this part and now it's been flat and so I think I'm just gonna like walk over there and then climb up to the top of that. But it's really nice. There's a lot of blueberries around although it's rumored that they're making people sick so I'm not eating the blueberries just in case. But yeah, it's really nice up here. Okay, so I made it up here to the summit of I guess it's Moxie Bald or maybe Bald Mountain. I don't know. The sign is over there. But it's just like views all around. It's really cool. Very nice. Now two miles down to the lean-to. Okay, so I'm here. About to take the ferry across the Kennebec River. There go some folks over there. I was hoping to be the first person here, but I was actually the third person. And they only take two at a time, so you can see somebody over there on that shore waiting to come north. It's July 31st. Alright, it's officially August 1st now. I'm here in the something shelter. The West, West Cary Pond shelter, something like that. I stayed here last night. Um, everybody else has already hit the trail for today, but um, I haven't yet because yesterday I put in 18 miles, which was a long day, um, but the terrain wasn't that tough. Uh, we weren't really climbing over anything. I mean, we climbed over stuff, but nothing big. And I should be in Stratton in two days. Um, which is the next town that I'm stopping in, but today officially starts Southern Maine, and it's also the northernmost point of the White Mountain Range. Uh, we're climbing up Bigelow today and some other things, so it's about to get real gnarly. Um, it's about to <laughs> get really hard with like climbing and stuff, so I'm just trying to like motivate myself to hit the trail because I'm still tired from yesterday um but yeah uh it rained at the end of my day yesterday which was not fun so a lot of my clothes are wet right now so it's kind of cold um but I think it's actually gonna be a warm day so hopefully it doesn't rain again and today I'm only doing 12 miles I'm going to this campsite but they're probably gonna be 12 tough miles so it might take me like all day uh we'll see um but yeah here we go, hitting southern Maine. We're like about two-thirds done with Maine already. Maybe not quite, um, but we're making good good miles and everything. So yeah, here we go. Maybe I'll show you some views at the top of Bigelow if I'm not exhausted by the time I get up there. <laughs> okay, I made it to the top of Little Bigelow. Well, not really the top. Um, the sign was like in the middle of some trees up there, but I'm kind of on the way down. Um, those over there, th that's the rest of the Bigelows, and that's what I'm going to be climbing tomorrow. All of that nonsense. 
but it's really cool. Um, yeah, the climb, it wasn't that bad. Um, it wasn't as bad as I was thinking it might be. So yeah, I've got like uh, two and a half or so, maybe three miles down off of this mountain down there. Um, and there should be a tent site down that way. Yeah, very nice. So <clears throat> it's currently August 2nd. Um, and last night I stayed at this little tent site about 0.3 miles off trail behind me. Um, but I wanted to show y'all this cave that we had to go through to get to the tent site. It's pretty cool. Um, I stayed in the notch between Little Bigelow and Bigelow Mountain. So I'm going to be climbing up uh, the rest of the Bigelows today. But this was pretty cool. So yeah, I'll probably have some good views. So I'll probably show you what it looks like at the top of the Bigelows. And then tonight, I'm going to camp at a tent site. It's about two miles outside of Stratton. Um, although I'm not actually going into Stratton. Apparently everybody goes to the Hostel of Maine, um, which is like outside of Stratton. Not 100% sure exactly how to get there. So I'm going to try to figure that out between today and tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I know where I'm going when I'm trying to get into town, you know. But yeah, it should be uh, probably the toughest day yet. There's like starting off with a 2,000 foot climb and then there's two other climbs after that over the Bigelows. And then it's like straight down for a long time. Uh, so it's probably going to be a tough day, but um, hopefully we'll get some good views out of it. So yeah, I'll check in with you when I get to the top of something. So I made it to the top of Bigelow Mountain, and it's honestly really incredible up here. That's the sign, um, but it's just view. It reminds me of the Whites, honestly, in New Hampshire. Let's see if I can take you this way. But it's honestly just beautiful. Uh, the climb, I mean, it was a climb. We did uh, 2,000 feet in less than two miles, but honestly, it wasn't too bad. Like, I don't feel super winded or anything, so I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to get my trail legs. Uh, that'd be nice. But uh, yeah, it really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And if you look over here, I've got to climb over those. Um, I only, honestly only have six more miles to do today, or like six and a half. Um, it's 10.30 right now. But uh, it's only like eight point something to the road that goes towards <coughs> Stratton and Hostel of Maine. Um, but I want to make the most of my day in town tomorrow, so I only have to pay to spend one night at the hostel. So I'm going to camp really close to the road. Well, like two miles. There's a, a campsite two miles out from the road uh, tonight. So it's actually a little chilly up here because um, it's kind of windy, but it's really neat. All right, so I'm here at the, I think it's the Horns Pond tent site. Uh, it's still August 2nd or 3rd. I don't know, whatever day, it's the same day as the last two videos. And um, I am actually, this is not where I meant to stop for tonight. I meant to go three miles further, um, but I'm still like five miles away from the road that goes into town. Um, but I, I did a lot of climbing today, which actually was pretty good. Um, like I could make it up the whole mountain without having to stop and like, uh, catch my breath or take a break or anything um, but then I had a lot downhill and the next three miles are also just straight downhill and my feet were just hurting so much I'm, I'm getting this uh, rash on like the top of my feet I don't know if you can really see that um, I don't really know like I mean I guess it's from like my socks um, and I don't know if I need like some foot powder like some gold bond or something um, because, I mean, I change my socks pretty regularly and, like, my feet haven't been wet. Like, it's not been raining or anything. Um, so, yeah, I was just kind of, like, done. There's this tent site here and I was not about to go three more miles <laughs> downhill um, today. Because that's the only time that the rash really hurts is on the downhills. 
Um, I don't feel it at all, like going uphill or otherwise. Um, anyway, uh, and also I did not use trekking poles the whole day. Um, partly because this morning when I was doing all the climbing, um, I needed my hands, so I didn't want to use them. And then also on the downhills, I'm trying to force myself to just get better at that, to like go faster because, um, like honestly, I just feel really like unstable and I don't know, like uncoordinated. I feel like I'm going to fall on my face the whole time on, on like the steep rocky downhills like they are in this area. So I didn't use trekking poles um, to try to like make myself, I don't know, be more balanced or whatever. And uh, I don't know if it worked, but I, I didn't fall down today and I felt like I was going faster. And I definitely felt more stable. So I don't know if it's helping, but I'm going to try because it just, it takes me so long on these, these really rocky, like straight down hills. And, like, I was getting passed by day hikers today, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I need to, I need to do better. Um, so yeah, I'm still, like, five miles outside of town. Um, I'm really excited to get some actual food tomorrow. And I'm going to try really hard when I do my resupply to not buy any ramen, because whatever kind of ramen that was that I bought at the gas station in Monson is not good. And I've been eating it for the past week. I mean, I've been eating ramen like 14 or 15 days straight, just about at this point. Um, so yeah, I hope they have some food because all I have left is like a little bit of trail mix just to get me into town tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Um, definitely ready for town day tomorrow. Ready for some real food. All right. So it's August. Gosh, I think it's August 5th. I don't really know. Uh, yesterday we got shuttled out of the Hostel of Maine near Stratton and we hiked in just like eight miles to this river, did some climbing. Right now I'm climbing up Sugarloaf Mountain and this, let's see, behind me, yeah up there above those rocks, that's, that's the trail. Your nice typical climb here in Maine. You can see I have the trekking poles in the pack because I literally cannot even reach the top of this rock. So I'm trying to figure out how to get, there's like a blaze up there. I don't know. It's like, I wish I could flip this around. It's like way like straight up there. So I gotta do some climbing today. Yesterday when we were coming down off of, um, gosh, I don't even know if it had a name. There was no view. It was just like trees when we got up there. It's 3000 foot climb. Uh, it was just like this giant pile of rocks on the side of this, like side of the mountain that was all exposed. And it was just like loose giant rocks you had to climb down. So welcome to Southern Maine. You know, it's, I, I think there actually is a view up here because this is a ski slope. So we'll see. But anyway, I need to get up all of that somehow. See how this goes. So I'm not actually sure if we're going all the way to the summit of Sugarloaf because I like vaguely remember reading that there's like a 0.6 mile side trail up there that I'm definitely not gonna take. So um, there's kind of a view here. So I'll show you this one. Um, I already forget where we came from yesterday because we're like kind of just walking around and around this mountain. Um, that's kind of like a drop off right there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's really rocky over on that side. I think, um, let's see, sun rises in the east. So over there must be south, straight ahead. So I bet we're just going over that ridge down that way so it's pretty cool it's a little chilly up here but i'm glad it's sunny okay so it's still the same day as before i'm here at the spalding mountain lean to see over there and um about like a mile back <clears throat> maybe i saw in the guidebook there was supposed to be a bronze plaque for the 200 mile marker but I literally I didn't see a plaque so I didn't take a picture of it because I didn't see it um and there was this one climb up to a summit like on a side trail it was kind of close to it and I don't know maybe it's up there um but we passed the 200 mile mark which is great um we're also getting close to being done with Maine we've got like 80 something miles left. There's only one more town I'm going to stop in in Maine 
and that is Andover in a few days. Um, and then we'll be in Gorham and into the Whites, and then, yeah, making our way through New Hampshire. So the next big milestone will be um, when we get into New Hampshire. Um, but yeah, we did 200 miles, so go us, you know, making pretty good time right now. Um, hopefully we'll make better time once we get past the whites south of there. Um, but yeah, 200 miles. All right, so I'm here on top of the horn. I don't know where the sign is. Um, we're in the saddlebacks right now. Um, we came from down over there. That's a Saddleback Junior. I'm on the horn and that is Saddleback Mountain. Um, and today I'm just going up and over those and then we're going to go down a long way and pass over the road that goes to Wrangley or Rangely, however you pronounce it. And then I'm going to stealth somewhere on the other side of the road. So um, these are some pretty nice views. I think that's Wrangley down there. I don't know, it might be on the other side. Um, but yeah, it's pretty it's pretty nice up here. This also reminds me of the presidential range, which apparently you can see the presidentials from up here, like over on that side. I don't know which ones, but somebody told me that this morning. Some lakes and stuff over there. Uh, yeah, it's a little chilly up here, so I'm going to start heading down and make sure I make my miles and everything, because this last climb, uh, it was a little tougher than the first one, so I was taking it slow, because there's a lot of, like, big old rocks you gotta get up on, so, yeah. But that, uh, over there looks nice, because it's just kind of like a ridge walk. So, yep, here we go. Well, I found the trail. I went, so, came from over there, and then I crossed over, and I went all the way down there, and then I went over there, and I climbed up that pile of rocks and hopped the guardrail, went to the overlook, walked back over here, and so when you cross, oh, you can see there's a blaze right there. So apparently, I need to walk along the road. I'm gonna walk that way. It's not very obvious. Y'all need to do better in ATC, just saying. Wow, I was having such a bad day earlier, but now I walked over here and I found some trail magic. Let's see what they got for us. Oh, bananas. Some soda. Oh, there's some beer. I don't know if I want to hike drunk, but I wonder if these are the people. I'm going to sign the log. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm here. I uh, just passed the second peak of Bemis Mountain. And uh, it's starting to rain again. Um, anyway, I'm just like up on the summit of this mountain. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like I've been up here for so long. I'm just out here like, like see there's a blaze and uh, sometimes it's just like a cairn, like a pile of rocks that you're following. But I feel like they're just making me walk in circles. <laughs> it's a little chilly up here, but it's very, I guess I'm going down a little bit now, but I'm going that way. But uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's really funny. Because you see like there's a pile of rocks right there. So I'm going to follow that, and then sometimes there's like a blaze, so I don't know. I just feel really silly right now, following these rocks around. <laughs> so I'm heading towards Andover, and I found a trail chicken. I don't know. <laughs> it looks different than the other, like, grouse that I saw. I've seen several. Oh, what are you? You got, like, red around your eyes? Let me walk down here. Hey, buddy. Looks like a chicken to me. I think it's chicken. <laughs> okay. So down there is South Arm Road. And that's the road that we're about to take to go into Andover. I just gotta uh, get down this mountain. It looks like they actually have switchbacks for once, which is amazing because it's like basically the first time that it's not just been like straight down the mountain. So thank you for switchbacks. Uh, should be down there soon. I don't know, half a mile maybe. We'll see how fast I can do this. This is really pretty. It's been raining a lot though. I'm ready uh, to wash my clothes and dry them. <laughs> <laughs> 